day three of the Euronaval 2018 press trip. Today we are at the Naval Group shipyard in Lorient, Brittany, to learn more about the Frem, the PSIM module of the Going Corvette, as well as the Freda, the next air defense frigates based on the Frem design for the French Navy. Good afternoon. I'm Captain Jean-Baptiste Soubrier. I've been in the French Navy for almost 25 years and this uh, will be my third time in command at sea um, on the, the Frem destroyer uh, Normandy. Uh, it's quite a challenge. Uh, up to now I have been uh, commanding officer of a patrol boat, a Naviso, in, uh, in Toulon uh, with 85 crew members, 1,300 tons. The second one was five years later um, a French ship uh, based in La Réunion with an helicopter, uh, a frigate. It was uh, 3,000 tons and uh, about the same uh, number of, of crew members. And now the challenge is that I have 6,000 tons, all types of weapons that uh, the industry, uh, the French industry uh, is able to, to do and, uh, and, de and detection ranges uh, equipments. And uh, I have uh, the challenge to do it with uh, a crew uh, which is uh, 125 with the helicopter and uh, this is uh, possible thanks to the great automation integration in the platform and operational field. The main quality is versatility. I mean it's a very good anti-air warfare destroyer, anti-submarine, uh, a great platform for special operation forces. So it's like uh, I would say um, a multifunction tool but the, the comparison is not, is not so good so far because uh, each device is uh, really dedicated for it. And uh, on a tour, quite often, you prefer to have a dedicated one. Here, uh, the industry, the, the French Navy, uh, succeeded in uh, having on one ship the best qualities in each of the fields um, that we will have to deal with in the following years uh, for Normandy. We are just uh, in front of the PSIM. The PSIM is the Panoramic Sensor and Intelligence Module. It is an integrated mast uh, to be fit on the GoWin Corvette class. There are many advantages of this, uh, of this solution. The first one is uh, on the operational point of view, is to provide to the ship uh, 360 degree coverage for all the sensors who are fitted into the PSIM. Uh, I'm talking about the communication, electronic warfare, radar, all the surveillance system. They have a full 360 degree coverage without any mask. That's the main operational advantage. In terms of uh, technology and industrial advantage, the PSIM is built apart from the platform, well in advance because it is a smaller, a smaller module than the ship, obviously, and we can pre-integrate the combat system, almost all the combat system, into the PSIM ashore well before uh, the uh, availability of the platform. We just have to connect uh, auxiliaries like uh, power and en energy ventilation into the PSIM and uh, we can start the integration of the combat system. A third advantage is the PSIM has all the sensors, as I said, and also the ops room. So that provides the crew, in, well in advance, the opportunity to train on uh, the real configuration of the ship because it is a module of the ship and the, the crew can train well in advance the availability of the ship. So when the, the platform is available and the short trial of the platform are done, we can put the sim into the platform and then the ship is ready to, uh, to start our sea trial. So that's something we already uh, designed and proved on the first uh, go-in built in Lorient and delivered to the Egyptian Navy.
Good afternoon. So my name is Stephanie Sauton. I'm the ship manager uh, of the frame number nine frame Alsace just behind me. Ship manager, it means that I'm in charge of the, of the building of the ship uh, and delivering of, of this, this ship to the final customer on time. And I'm also in charge of the health and safety on board. So this frame is the first Freda uh, frigate. It means that um, contra contrary to the, the ISM anti-submarine warfare frigates that we have built up to now, this one has anti-air warfare capabilities in addition to the anti-submarine ones. So the main difference is on the middle mast of the frigate, which is much thinner on the Freda uh, frigate. Uh, it has uh, different and additional sensors on this middle mast. We also have enhanced radar capacities, uh, a different fire and control station. The frame um, Alsace, which is behind us, uh, has been um, has started its construction, her construction here in the cover dry dock last February, so in February 2018. The first block was put to the line of kill blocks and she will be launched in April 2019. So 14 months uh, in this covered building dry dock. It's a very short period to be able to assemble all the sub-assemblies, um, all the hull blocks which made the hull. And it's very short because we also pre-outfit and we also um, perform most of the outfitting of equipments in the covered dry dock to be able to launch with 80% of pipes mounted, 85% of cables routed and etc. This one and uh, the last ISM frigate, uh, Frem Normandie, have been uh, built much faster than the previous ones, with only 13 and 14 months in the dry dock, whereas previously we had 22 or 23 months in average.